right, so today's adventure is back at Blue Marsh again. A little bit different, not really a hiking video, more of a scavenger hunt. Right now they have the lake down so that they can uh, desilt it. And so we can actually walk on parts of the lake bed. We're here at North Heidelberg Road, which is basically the top end of the uh, Blue Marsh Lake Trail. Um, right here, is the trail that goes around the lake. Back behind you is the bridge that goes across North Heidelberg Road and also goes up further on to uh, Christmas Village. Notwithstanding, we have a placard over there that describes the Union Canal having, I guess, followed through here. And uh, we're gonna head off to your right, our left. It looks like a fisherman's trail over there to try to go down to the lake and hopefully walk on the lake bed and search around for ruins and uh, old, hopefully, uh, um, house, uh, how shall you say, basements, foundations. Notwithstanding, my dad and I used to do this for many years back in the day, and we'd go out and pick up lures and hooks and all that kind of stuff that the fishermen lost. So let's go on with us. here we are standing right at the edge of the lake and as you can see it's been dry for quite a while notwithstanding we haven't gotten a lot of rain in the last uh, month or two uh, so now we get an opportunity to go out here and see what might be out here uh, pretty neat experience I have to admit when I was younger going with my dad it was probably boring to me but I got to spend time with dad so uh, now we're just gonna go take a look around yes And it kind of is sinking underneath of our feet a little bit, but it's pretty dry. I'm sure we'll find some uh, muddy spots here and there. An old tree stump from way back. A lot of different tree stumps. There's another one. Kind of surreal to be able to walk on a lake bed, you know. It's uh, very odd, but this happens every year in the winter so that they can do what they got to do. And you never know what you might find in here. Boy, it is wild to see these old tree stumps. I mean, this is a long time ago. You know what, let's see about maybe trying over here. There's just a little area to go across and I see a stone up there. Not terrible. Let's see what we can see. Now we happen to be heading right now, I would say, meh, I guess we're heading uh, west, I would venture to guess, west or north. That is the bridge that crosses uh, North Heidelberg Road. And it's even rocky underneath the water, much like a lot of hiking is through Pennsylvania. Right here is a large amount of concrete for what, I don't know some kind of storm drain. There's a pipe down in there. Some kind of drain. Some more trees that were once above water. That's about as far as I can go this way, so I guess we'll turn around that way and go see what uh, Mrs. Lumberjack might have found. Haven't seen any lures or anything like that yet, but I'm sure at some point we will. Or maybe something even more odd. A lot of times you'll see them hanging off of these uh, tree stumps. 
probably run into a lot of fishing line too, I would imagine. Very neat. Not your typical hiking video, but certainly something to do and uh, you never know what you might find. The original creek, which I believe, and I'm, don't quote me on this because I'm not really good at this kind of stuff. I believe this is the Tulpahawken Creek. But well, we have quite a bit to walk down there and to be able to check out. There's a cinder block. And we get to a little sandy area here. It's uh, November 1st, I guess it's about 1.30 in the afternoon, and I would say, uh, according to my car, it's 78 degrees, which they were on calling for to get up to 71. Feels nice. It's a nice breeze that helps out. Really neat to be out here. Definitely is a, a different experience. Well, something else, we have some concrete here. Not exactly sure what the purpose of this is. It has some uh, iron rods sticking out of it. They all seem to be in a row, kind of. Not exactly sure. Look how those roots are so totally exposed. Some bricks, some cinder block, some kind of pipe. And now we're starting to see some things. Nothing earth shattering, but certainly it's stuff you wouldn't see when you were just tooling along in your canoe and your canoe. Is that concrete, steel. I think it's steel, but I don't know. Yeah, it's some kind of pipe. Well, let's see how much further we can go without sinking. I definitely got a goodly amount of mud on my shoes now. I don't know, this might be the farthest we can go without sinking in. We might have to take a little drive down to a different spot and see if we can get in because this is pretty not dry now if it had some rock on it or something like that I think we could take a shot at it yeah I think we might be as far as we can go besides maybe trying to skip across a couple rocks or something like that and get up into there which I may try to do it's good to have this stick to kind of balance as you go across these rocks And now we're up on some drier land. At least I am. This is Lumberjack. Oh, that's an even better way than I took. Mucho's better of. I wonder if... Uh, this is pretty decently dry here. I wonder if we just kind of skirt through here if we can make it around. Jack seems to be doing fine over there, but of course she's 100 pounds lighter than me, at least. Alright, that's a little better. Down there was a little rough to walk on. The birds are doing fine.
concrete. And then that is pretty neat. -o. I mean, what would you say that was? Wow. Had the foggiest idea to say exactly what that might have been. Big pipe coming out of it. I mean, I don't know. Don't know what that is. See some like it was that slate or shale over there. Slate, I guess. Pretty neat. Yeah, I think this is going to be it because. Uh, that out there doesn't look much passable. Look at the footprints that are already out there. And I don't mind getting a little muddy, but I ain't getting just clods of mud all over my feet. I already got something bad enough. Okay, so we took a trip down here to Peacock Road. And uh, the creek is definitely way, way down. Um, but it's getting later. I think we want to get home. Maybe we'll save this for another time or use your imagination. That it would be basically the same as this was. Uh, I know for sure you're not getting a kayak or a canoe in here at this launch. You would have to definitely take it through that gate over there and try to get out onto the, the finger of this part of the lake over here. But uh, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time on Lumberjack in the Woods.